ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Mercer, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. Delighted today to present to you an absolute treat. One of my favourite boats ever built, the Sea Line S41. Now this one was a 2000 model, she's powered by twin Yanmar 300 horsepower turbo diesels. You get such an immense amount of space, liveaboard space on this. There is no aspect that's compromised whatsoever on these old sea lines. The finish is unbelievable inside and out. You can tell this one's been kept in immaculate condition. And the thing I really, really like about it is she has all the optional extras you could want from all the navigational packages to all the domestic things that you would need to enjoy an extended period of time on the water. Just a little over 41 foot. She handles excellently due to her bow thrusters. She's also on out drives as well. There at the top, you can see the radar package. She has VHF, GPS, chart plotter, bow thruster. As I said, absolutely everything that you could want, she certainly has it. Let's take a little look on board. The extended swim platform is covered in teak. You do have a single blue LED mood light just as you enter. And as we come in, I really love this beautifully arched canvas canopy that really maximizes the space inside with your typical sort of slanted triangular canopies you do sometimes lose headroom at the rear certainly not with this one the teak is in great condition all the upholstery as well looks absolutely minted plenty of seating at the rear for four or five people just opposite you have the private owner's bar what delights do we have in here Looking a bit scarce, definitely post weekend. Just off to the starboard side, we do have a cockpit wet bar. And there is a fridge freezer underneath as well, one of two. Plenty of space for socialising, for entertaining guests, or for even partying, but not now with COVID regulations, maybe one day soon. Everything as well is covered by this very large, very robust hard top so you don't get any of the leaks that you might get with other soft top um, sports cruisers. High gloss finish to everything. The boat really looks in minted condition, as I've mentioned before. The teak cockpit table folds out at your own will. Again, plenty of bended L-shaped seating the cockpit feels so open and if you had 13, 14 people out here at a time, it really would not feel crowded at all. Huge Pioneer stereo system. You can see the massive inbuilt speakers on both of the radar arches. And then you've got these stunk, uh, chunky stainless steel grab rails on either side, one on the roof as well. And up in here, we do have a table that fastens to the rear of the cockpit, just so you can manage the space depending on the situation you're in. So a table, drops down into the awning here and a table just drops into the awning like so five cup holders and as it is just opposite the drinks cabinet and the cockpit wet bar they really have done this tactically a very clever little detail from sea line so that stows up in the roof as do the canopies all these canopies are stowable under these lockers here on the roof. So that means there's clutter free. You don't have anything flapping around in the wind while you are underway if you do have all the canopies off. And trust me, this boat looks amazing, even better when the canopies are all disassembled. Now up here is where the table stows. I'll show you how it goes. And she tucks away. And you can see the support pole removes out from underneath. And that just means that the deck is clutter free. It's not compromising in any of the rest of the storage space that you have in the boat. You're not compromising in any of the floor space. Simply, she just lifts up. And as you can see, there's two of these that need to be fastened. One on the port side, one on the starboard. Oh, just tuck that away. And that's it. So straightforward and simple. And that is so strong and sturdy that you can almost put your full weight on the locker with this grab rule and it won't come down at all.
helm position, it's a twin helm, twin helm position. These bolsters move up and down so you can adjust the helm seat and the, the view you get out over the bow. VHF satellite phone, stereo control, twin throttles, you've got your bow thruster, and then you've got all your engine information in front of you. That is also a, a, a radar, you've got GPS and a chart plotter there as well. But what I do like about this is if you like to go back to basics and use a map, you certainly have the space for one underneath there. And then the view out over the bow, really is actually superb. Just before the boat gets on the plane as well, you can see over the top of it, so it doesn't ride too high. This is privacy glass, so as you can see, we can't see down below, but certainly when we're down below, we can see up. So with all the canopies up, you certainly do have privacy downstairs, down here. A huge recreational space up top. Let's go back downstairs and have a little look at the saloon and the cabins. You get a very healthy space in the saloon, as you can see, seating easily for six round the table, and you do also have a pull-out bar stool just underneath. There is actually storage inside that as well, just for your added benefit. Now, the saloon faces the galley. The galley is very well equipped. You do have a gas oven, triple gas burner, stainless steel hot and cold sink, and then I like how this big grab rail supports the door for the fridge freezer compartment just let me show you it's quite large up there and you've got that in addition to the cockpit fridge as well everything is finished in typical sea line fashion with high gloss you've got this superb quartz corian solid countertop all the door finishings and fittings are in typical sea line fashion as i mentioned earlier everything's such good quality it's robust the doors are thick and when they close you know they don't rattle now, you also do have main sockets as well. You can use them anywhere as this boat is fitted with a generator. Your electrical switchboard. Your Everspacker control for the onboard central diesel heating. Now, this is also a smart TV, so you do have the capability to watch YouTube, Netflix, um, and also Amazon Prime if you want to plug a fire stick into the side. There is also a Glomex fitted to the boat as well. Great headroom, just over six and a half feet. Real liveaboard capabilities down here. No matter what the weather, when the diesel heating's on down here, you can happily plod away down here while it's raining outside. Keep the kids happy with a film on the TV. It's a win-win situation for absolutely everyone. Now the forward VIP comes in the form of a double island berth. There is plenty of storage off to each of the sides and the ambience is set with the twin spotlights just coming down at the headboard there in front of the mirror. Hanging storage in here. We also have an onboard Ensuite shower access, plenty of room, high gloss finish. That's absolutely great. And then also what we do have is the forward VIP has Jack and Jill access into the day head. So you can see there that there's an electric flush toilet that does also have a waste tank and macerator. Plenty of storage as well, just below the mirror. But the Jack and Jill door system means that this can be accessed by both the occupants of the ensuite and also via the saloon. So this is definitely the day heads compartment. We'll close that over. We'll close that. So you've seen the saloon from a different perspective, as I mentioned. 
You've got plenty of, plenty of space in here. Has all the extras in the facilities that you need to be self-sufficient if you do wish to cruise away or head off and spend an extended period of time on this luxury boat. So this is the master cabin. Now it is full beam. You do have an island double berth, which is just offset off to the starboard side. You've got storage just down there and you can walk around almost the entirety of the bed. Double full hanging lockers, plenty of natural light coming in from each of the portholes. And then also via the escape patch. This little vanity setup is very cute. You've got small lockers underneath as well, and then plenty of storage, all finished in that very high gloss. The master ensuite, roomy, as you can see, very classy. It has another pump flush, um, or me, electric flush toilet, which drains directly into the waste tank. There is also a macerator fitted to it as well. And as you can see, the shower just pulls up and locks into place right there. The vast majority of owners, however, would just use the separate shower room in the form of VIP. I'm just a little over six foot and there's plenty of headroom in here. You have to about six foot, five inches worth. And that obviously does extend as you step up into the saloon. Right, all there is really to do is show you the engine. This is powered by the ever reliable and ever economical Yanmar 300s, two of them. As you can see, there is the generator just off to the port side as well. Very well lit clean kept engine bay everything looks in good order there you have it ladies and gentlemen a sea line s41 i'm ruben from marine sales scotland where fun in the water begins